How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. I've got a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for William Quinnen, and he goes, Is there a way to play an attack animation on the map without my character's stop moving, where it plays on a continuous time loop? And we're gonna. We're gonna do his special request right now. So, William, all you really gotta do, first I'll show you what we're gonna make. So I hit a switch, the switch turned on, and now I've got four different events for I'm using as like locations. Empty events just to hold the location. So we've got five animations playing, and you can go about doing whatever you're doing on the map, and these animations will keep playing continuously until we hit that guy again and turn off the switch. So it's real easy to do this. Uh, basically all you have to do is have something control a switch. So you just create whatever switch you want, call it whatever you want, turn it on however you want. In this case, I've got an event that's got two pages, one page, uh, the first page, you you hit, you activate it with the action button and it turns on a switch, turns on self switch. So once the self switch is on, it'll go to this page and it'll keep running. That switch will be on until we, we hit it again and then it turns off the switch, turns off the self switch, goes back to the front page. So it's basically you talk to him once, it's on, talk to him twice, it's off, on, off, on, off, basic binary switch. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm creating a common event parallel process. So this I guess what we, we could call parallel animations. <clears throat> so you create a common event, uh, you set the trigger to parallel it's got to be parallel and then the switch condition that one switch we turned on with our inside of our event inside that event we're gonna show our animation wherever we want it on the player or on whatever spot we want so you can see that I have four other events I'm gonna come back to this common event you can see I've got these four other events there are priority below characters you want that and the trigger action button you know so that they can't really be triggered unless you go on top of them and if you do trigger them they're blank events they do nothing all you want to do is give it a name so you know its location this is animation spot one same thing with this spot two and then this is three and this is four so when you uh, when you when you trigger an animation to play with show animation you have to select a location you can get my plugin dg underscore place animation um, it's on my website and that'll let you place an animation anywhere on the screen and it just takes a little bit of learning to do. It's pretty simple. But this is even easier, right? So you just go here and you, you put in a new animation. I'm sure you know how to play animations. The problem you're having is you don't know how to make it so that you can do other stuff while animations are going off in the background. So you set the trigger to parallel, turn on that, uh, select a switch you want to have on, and then you want to include weights. So the weight command is going to uh, normally an event that has a wait it would stall the the game right so you have to wait for it to finish but in a parallel process the wait only stalls that event itself so that event that's that's how you set the timer how often do you want it to be you know between animations so you set the wait and the number of frames you want so I've got 280 frames just in between here but you could set the number to whatever you want and basically that's it I mean pretty simple this is an example project that you can use to sort of like uh, you, you know use it for how you want to do it in your game we'll do, take a look at it in game one more time we turned on the switch and now it, it's doing this animation animation there animation there animation here and animation here and boom and it'll keep going back here back here and if we want to stop it all you have to do is turn off that switch and the the parallel process will end so William Quinnen, hopefully I'm saying your name right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, that's it. That's how you do it. Uh, parallel animations. So like this video if you thought this was helpful. Anybody else who found this informative, educational, whatever, um, give it a like. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you like game development turtles. Uh, t t if you like turtles, if you guys, 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 if you like turtles, like subscribe to this channel. <sighs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.